Okay, here we are looking at the female Hydra agent. And this is with the masked head. This is exactly how it came out of the bag, just uh, the open hands, very basic figure. And here we have the shield agent, female shield agent from the two pack. And this is how this one came, just out of the package. Interesting, it came with a fist on the right hand and an open hand on the left. And it has that masked helmet look, which has a clear red visor, which is really cool. And uh, these both figures are pinless, and I like what they did with the leg gauntlets, that they're firmly in place. Uh, so this is a much needed upgrade to if you had any of the other figures, the Quake, Maria Hill. Uh, it's nice to have another female agent. Let's check out the accessories. All right, and we have some of the contents here from one of the bags, the accessory bags. You have the same exact weapon that came with Kang the Conqueror, just a different paint job. You have the short uh, pistol there and the uh, open gun hands for both sides. There's two heads there and then I have the third as well, which I'm going to try to use for Sharon Carter. So we'll see about that. I think the head sculpts look really great. Great deco, great paint jobs. So probably use as many of those as I can, and we'll see what's next. All right, here we have the shield agent with one of the variant heads. I think that head looks pretty cool on this body. And here are two of the accessories that it came with. You have that Kang the Conqueror gun reused, and that pistol, which you can add any type of last effect that you've gotten in the past, but they didn't include one with the set. So if you want to and you have an extra, from say a widow or whatever you have, you can add it to the weapon. All right, all right, and here we have the Hydra agent with an alternate head. I think it looks pretty good. And one weapon, which it took me a little while to get the pose just right. Um, the fingers really don't line up perfectly for this figure to hold that gun properly, so. You'll see the, the fi trigger finger doesn't exactly go into the finger hole. Uh, I'll try it the other way again with the opposite hands. But for now, it's that's the best you can do with that pose and that figure. Not too bad. Uh, just took a little bit of time to work with the hands to try to get it to fit properly. Pretty cool. Came with the, the same exact gun but in black that we saw before, the pistol. That came with the other agent with the hole in it, so you can put a blast effect. However, this one does not have a hole for you to put in the blast effect, just to note. Pretty cool so far. Let's see what else we can do. And here we have the older Sharon Carter that came out. And I was never really happy with the head sculpt on this, so I'm hoping to fix it with the new head that came with this Shield Hydra 2 pack. And we'll see if it works. Let's check it out. All right, so here we have a look at the head. Now I'm going to say this, sitting on top of the peg. So what happened here? When I was looking at the peg holes, this is the head that came with that figure. It sits on there and it has a neck. This head that's on here right now, when you put it on the neck, no, it has no neck. It looks absolutely ridiculous. If you want to see it, viewer discretion advised, it is weird looking. Here we go. There we have it. The no neck looking Sharon Carter head swap. Yeah, it really covers the peg completely. So you, you really just want to either sit it on top. I've heard people say make the ball peg have a little more material with milliput. I've never used that, but if that's what you do, you might want to do that for this. You're going to have to just sit it on top if you really want to use it. Otherwise, go with the old head. 